Have you ever heard of rum cake? Yes, you're using rum to make a cake and you make a sauce to pour all over the cake. It's your girl Claudie from cookiewithclaudie.com. Let us make the best ever rum cake. Trust me, it's not alcoholic. It's not going to make you drunk, okay? So do not panic. In a mixing bowl, in my mixer, I'll add in some butter, softened butter and some cooking oil with some sugar. You want to go ahead and mix everything until it is light and fluffy. I'm laughing because when I was making this cake, my husband was like, are we not going to get drunk? No, you are not going to get drunk. In a separate bowl, add in some all-purpose flour, baking powder, salt, Go ahead and mix that. You want to make sure you're mixing the dry ingredients separately, okay? So now, I just want to show you guys the texture, how it's looking. It is so light and fluffy. I'll be using four large eggs, but make sure you want to add the eggs in batches, okay? Do not pour in all the eggs at once. As you're making the cake, make sure you're scraping the sides of your mixing bowl. You can as well use a hand mixer to mix everything. It's going to work well. Now bring in some vanilla extract bring in some milk i'm using full fat milk here any milk is gonna work perfectly now keep adding the flour mixture in batches in total i add i added mine in three batches like i said batches is always important now our rum comes in this is a rum the alcohol like i said it's not gonna make you drunk okay because during baking most of it evaporates but the flavor is amazing now transfer the butter inside a greased baking pan if you love my baking pan i will drop the link for you guys to get yours or for you to get yours so when you transfer that you just want to shape everything so everything is uniform inside the baking pan and this is going to go to a preheated oven your oven is supposed to be at 350 degrees fahrenheit let this bake for at least 50 to 60 minutes and after baking this is how it's looking for my bond cake i don't let them like to be too brown okay let us make our rum sauce in a pan on medium heat you want to melt in some butter the next ingredient you want to bring in some brown sugar brown sugar is really good because it also gives a good flavor vanilla extract and your rum comes in keep stirring that when it starts bubbling you see that it's gonna thicken just like this you see how that has thickened it thickens because of the sugar okay now transfer to a different pan let it cool the more it cools the more it becomes thick okay because of the butter this step is optional just poke some holes on it then transfer some rum sauce like i said it is optional okay now your cake is cool enough transfer that into a cooling rack let it finish cooling now pour that beautiful rum sauce all over the cake and your rum cake is ready to serve see how beautiful that is looking so guys make sure you try out this recipe okay it is so good for occasions your gathering your parties family dinners in fact surprise your family with this recipe see how rich buttery creamy that is looking well, you just have to steal this recipe. You're free to steal my recipe. Screenshot and stick it somewhere. Thank you so much for watching. Until we meet again. Bye. And I love you all.